Hello everyone. I hope you all are keeping well and doing great. Welcome back to the module 3 lesson 1. I apologize for the delay in recording this lesson. The previous lesson was a long time ago and this lesson is after a long time. The reason is I was sick and that's why I could not record new material for all the grades. Now I have started for other grades as well. And hopefully before your exam, I will finish all the lessons that are there for your term 3 exam. Now the first lesson is on solving polynomial equations by graphing. Before I move on to the lesson, I want to quickly tell you, please do subscribe for my channel. It would re really mean a lot. And I want to thank all the subscribers, so many uh, hundreds of subscribers. I thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, please do share this, uh, th these videos with your friends. You can share the links with your friends who might find it useful as well. Now, moving on to the lesson. We will, this is a short lesson, you know. So, only one learning object to you in this. That is, to solve polynomial equations by graphing. Before we start this lesson, you might have remembered the last module was also on polynomials. Yes, but this is on polynomial equations. We will solve them. We will find the solutions for the equations. So, that is what we are doing. In the last, we did operations on polynomials. Adding, subtracting multiplying binomials polynomials dividing but here it is about polynomial equations now it's about graphing the keywords are it's only one keyword sorry the keywords is polynomial equations now solving polynomial equations by graphing now over here let me show you this this is a polynomial right now whenever there is equal to equation comes equation means you're equating something with other thing so this is a polynomial equation why because it's equal to how do you solve this if you want to solve that means it is the intercept the x intercept values that is the polynomial uh, that is the solution for the polynomial equation that x intercept is also called as the solutions now how would you solve it now, if you recall, before you might have studied, if I want to know the x-intercept, okay, this one, I should just make the function equal to 0. If this is the function of the graph, make it equal to 0. Why? That means where is y equals to 0? At the x-intercept values. So, what you need to do is you need to rearrange this and get everything to one side. Now, since this is higher power, let's take everything to the other side. x, x to the power 3 plus 2x squared minus 4x and this becomes minus x or subtract both the sides by minus x it will be totally 5 minus 5x and this will be negative 6 that is basically equal to 0 now that is basically the function f of x so now you need to make the function equal to 0 and then solve you'll get the answer so you can see over here they have rearranged it and then you make this equal to 0 and solve these are the zeros. How would you solve them? It is by pressing mode, phi, and over here up till cubic, you can solve by pressing 3. The coefficients are, you can see the coefficient before x cube is 1, then it's 2 before x squared, minus phi, and lastly we have minus 6. And the answer are, sorry, did I do anything wrong? It's 1. 2 minus 5 sorry it's not minus 6 it's minus 5 and minus 6 now we will get the correct answer okay i have done a mistake that i have just i pressed mode 5 and 3 it is mode 5 and 4 you can see the cubic is 4 now it's good that i, I made this mistake i'm not going to cut this part i let it be the reason being now in your exam you must be very careful on which on which equation you select if it's quadratic it's two it's option number three over here since it's cubic power three select four and now press the coefficients so one two negative five and lastly we have negative six i hope this is clear it is two negative one and minus three so these are the answers they are the zeros or the x intercepts now we will solve a problem now here they have recommended graphing calculator but we do not use graphing calculator, so it is fine. Uh, I'm not sure whether they'll be asking this in exam, but even if they ask, 
and you have options given to you, you can fi find it directly by trial and error method. Now, I'll tell you how is this solved. See, now the problem is it's x to the power 4. Since it's x to the power 4, you can't solve it in your regular calculator. You need a graphing calculator. And uh, the normal method is very onerous. It'll be very tiring. You, it'll take a long time. Now, here, find a related function. Related function means get everything to one side and make one side equals to 0. So, over here, you're subtra uh, adding minus 4x cubed. So, this side will be 0 over here. And this is the thing. The related function is this function over here. Okay. Now, if you want to find the solution, you should just solve this, making equal to 0. But how do you graph it? Now, over here, they have used a graphing calculator. Now, this is the graph over here. How would you graph is basically taking values, say take value of x as 0, as 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, put it over here and then graph the points. But even if you graph, it's very, very hard and difficult to find these x values. Okay. So you can take the approximate x values. But now if it's just graphing and you've got four graphs, there is a trial and error method. Now, what this is, it's very simple. You will have four graphs with you. Choose any x value. I will start from 0. Okay, I'll choose this x value as 0. So, instead of this x in this given equation, the related equation, put 0 instead of x. Everywhere this becomes 0. What is remaining? Minus phi is what's remaining. So, the answer over here would be minus phi. Is it so? Yes, that is minus phi. So, that is the answer. That's it. Now, I'm sure there'll be many graph, many answers with the same, uh, you know, minus phi. So how about we change it? Let's say take negative 2 over here. So you will have to, uh, let's go back over here. Now, what you will have to do is instead of x, you need to put minus 2. Please remember, use brackets when it is negative numbers. So you will get the exact answer. I'll show you why. Because if it's an even power, 4. The answer over here is 16, right? But let me make it an odd power. That will be minus 8. So it makes a lot of difference. And now, say for example, if I don't, uh, if I don't use the bracket, see, okay, I'm deviating, but let it be because I want you to know. See, if the minus sign is within the bracket over here, you will get positive 4, right? Now I'll remove the bracket and I'll show you. The same thing it is negative for the answer is not same so that is why whenever you see negative numbers it's most crucial that you put the brackets now i will i'll assume uh, i'll try to find the value of minus two let me put over here instead of x as minus two inside the brackets and power four plus four times x is again minus two close the bracket and x to the power three lastly we have plus 3 into minus 2 the whole square to the whole square and negative 5 the answer is minus 9 and look over here let's compare this is 2 see this is the value of 2 now if you look closely yes it's it's about 9 okay now i can't zoom over here but still it's it's corresponding to 9 it should correspond to 9 so that is the answer. It's minus 9 in the downside. So this is how you can directly get the answer of the graphs. Now what you must do is the trial error, trial error method. Now what if even at minus 9 there are two graphs? The two will be eliminated but two are remaining. Try one more point. There will be only one graph for one particular function. So you can easily find the correct answer by trial and error. I hope this is clear. So this is how we can uh, try, you know, even though we don't have graphing calculator, we can solve this. But generally, such problem won't be asked if there is graphing calculator, you need to have graphing calculator. But since it's not required for you, these type uh, mostly will not be asked in the exam.